Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Paper and Moose. Let's get right into it. Today is garbage day. I have been away, so I've missed a few garbage days. So will the garbage, trash, curbside treasure gods be good to me and put out some vintage finds along the curbs? We will have to see. Let's not waste any time. Let's get out there and see if there's anything good for free, put out for trash on the curb. Let's go. We have something already. I will take this. That's like total 80s chair, but this is nice. Ooh, they're throwing out planters. Yes, please. Get away, balloon. That one has a plan on it. Are we crazy? And a picture. We'll take these. More light fixtures. And the toilet. I think I'll take these. Because someone might be able to use these. So, what do we have here? Beer cans. Wood. Folding chair. That's bad. I'll take this. This is a decent piece of metal. Made in the USA. I can't use that. That's trash, trash. And other stuff. That chair? No. So I saw this chair up here. And so just sticks. I normally don't pick up chairs, but this has a nice color. And it's a nice shape. So I think someone would definitely buy this and use it as decor or even just as you know, a nice porch chair. So we're going to take this. So this is what we picked up today. I kind of feel like there's a, a color scheme going on here. But um, this nice chair, this is all still intact. The legs are nice. You know, there's no breakages. Um, I actually have a chair that's similar to this. I might swap it out, keep this one, and then sell the one that I have. Um, there were these two plants. This, I think it's an orchid plant. Um, maybe with a little water, you know, it might come back to life. So we have that one. And then we also have this plant. Plant her with the base. You know, that's, we have some fuzzies growing on in there, so I'll just empty this one out. I actually have a jade plant that I just bought, so I might put it in here, but a very nice planter. This, uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, a heavy piece of, what's that, cast iron? Um, it says 10 by 10. It has this logo on it, which is like an arrow. And then there's also another mark. Looks like it might. Let me turn it around. Be a two with a, a D. And then it says 10 by 10. At first I thought, oh, this is probably a stand for an umbrella. But I think it's a little bit too heavy duty to be that. Um, so if you have any idea what it is, maybe it's for some type of equipment, a machine. Let me know. And then this nice plant stand. This is actually very nice for, you know, a hanging basket. This will go to the flea market. I don't have a use for that. And then, so will that, unless it turns out to be something amazing. And I can sell, <clears throat> excuse me, sell it online. The chair I might flip out with the one that I currently have. We'll have to see. And then see if I can revive this little plant back to life. So, not a bad haul. Oh, and then those lights. I did pick up those lights too. I'll either try and sell them at the flea market and then they don't sell. I can give them to taco stacks to scrap. So yeah, not, not bad. We have a nice color scheme of yellows and, and browns going on here. And I like that. 
so not a bad garbage haul. I found some nice things that we saved from the trash, which is always good. And now we're gonna switch gears and do some mail opening. I have three packages from some of my viewers. So as I always say, thank you so much for sending me things. It is much appreciated and it's, it's so nice of you. I can't tell you how much I do appreciate it and you know how kind all of you are for sending me all of these wonderful pieces of ephemera, moose items, and I never know what I'm going to get. So thank you again. So we'll start off with this. This is from Dolores in Michigan. These are from the beginning of June. I'm still working. <laughs> Hello, just to let you know how much I enjoy your videos, I thought of these postcards we moved into my husband's home when he was born, where he was born when he, when his parents passed. There's maybe 30 or 40 of these thought you would be interested. I will trade these for a jewelry jar from a thrift store if you are interested. I also love to watch the ladies who buy them and share them with their videos. We'll send them all to you if interested. I'm sending a few to let you see them. Keep the videos coming. Thank you, Dolores. So I apologize for the lateness, Dolores. Um, I think I know those jewelry jars that you mean. They're like mason jars or sometimes other old canning jars that are filled with jewelry. I've actually never seen one at my jewelry store. Not my jewelry store, my thrift store. What they do is, the one that I go to most often, they put, you know, they have bags of jewelry. But I will be on the lookout. Wine, Women, and Song. There's that one. Hello, Joe. Can't you coax Harry to come again soon? Evelyn. I guess Evelyn liked Harry. This one's pretty. Oh, this one's pretty thick. They just wrote money on the back. Well, that's a neat image. That was pretty thick. And then I'm looking for you. A nice lady with an umbrella. And they wrote on the back. This one was never sent. Dear friend Joseph, oh how, I don't know, something to drop you a few lines. I'm feeling fine and dandy and hope this will find you the same. This postal, I don't, I will look for you Saturday from your friend Joan. Don't disappoint me. Joseph, better not disappoint her. Very cute. So, thank you, Dolores. And if I do come across any of those jewelry jars, you know, I will see. Again, I don't think, I don't know if I've seen any at the flea market. I may have, but I may have passed them up, but now I will remember. So, thank you again. This is from, I want to say Reese in Texas. I hope I got your name right. Sorry if I didn't. Dear Renee, I love your channel. I have had this book and found it at a local Goodwill store. I just loved it and I knew you would too. School Memories from 1918. It belonged to a girl named Mary. Her name may be Mary Juder. She attended Arlington High School in Arlington, Texas now a very large city between Dallas and Fort Worth. Arlington is the home of the Texas Rangers baseball team and the Dallas Cowboys football team. Also Six Flags over Texas and the University of Texas at Arlington UTA. Please enjoy this book. I couldn't bring myself to put it in my booth to resell. Reese, I hope that's your name. If not, I apologize. So let's see, School, school Girl Days and Memory Book. How nice. Yep, there's her name. My class, year 1917 to 1918. Motto, over the Alps lies Italy. Colors gold and white, flowered daisy. Dear Mary, I enjoyed every day of your, friend, of your friendship since we first met in the fifth grade. And now that we will soon be going forth to the, into the wide, wide world, I hope that our ways of life will not live too far apart. My wish to you is that you may, 
is that you may successfully attain any goal for which you strive. Your friend, Amelia. That sounds like a good friend. So this, oh. So these, I love, I've seen these. I've never seen them actually in the hardbound book. But they even have great illustrations, like the Glee Club. I have one similar, like Kodak snapshots. Those would make, those would look great on a shirt. I have one similar from actually my high school, but it's a soft cover. There's another one, Kodak snapshots, reunions, that's neat. So she, yeah, she wrote, the history was written in the form of a memory book of a soldier. First, we as freshmen were raw recruits but under competent instructors whose names were given our teachers. That year we won a campaign against English grammar. <laughs> the next year we were advanced in rank, except for a few who received wounds and had to drop out. <laughs> oh my, look at all these. This is great. I'm definitely gonna have to read. I've never, yeah, there's room to put all sorts of stuff, stuff stunts and jokes. Apples in the Garden of Eden. It's like a big riddle. A lot of numbers. Dear Mary, we feel sure our little honor pupil will continue to hold this position. It has been a pleasure to have you in my class. Mrs. J. Scott. How great. I will definitely have to read more and maybe feature this in another video on my to-do list. So thank you so much, Reese, Reese from Texas. I appreciate that. And good luck with your booth that you have. I'm sure if you find nice things like this, you probably have a really nice booth. So the last one for today is from Susan in Maryland. Let me see if there's a letter first, which there is. Renee, I hope you enjoy these. Got them from a gentleman who was a reporter for the Washington Post, Susan. How neat. There's a whole bunch. National, America's First Theater. Oh, look at that, Oklahoma. The insert. Air Conditioned National Theater. Robin Hood Restaurant. See, one of the things that's great about these, you know, even if, like, say you aren't interested in the theater, just all the old ads, US 17, travel US 17 out of Fredericksburg. All the old ads are great to look at. I remember Mama Playbill. So these are a whole bunch. Ford's Playgoer. Is that the same Ford's, Ford's Theater? I wonder if it is the same one. Do they still show stuff at the Ford's Theater in DC? I was there once and I loved it. East Street. Is this Washington DC? That's Maryland, so maybe it is in DC. But yeah, if you've never been to Ford's Theater, in DC, it is a great place to go, you know, obviously for the history. Um, and then across the street, I think you can see the house that Lincoln was taken to. There's some more. Mrs. Dorsey's Concerts, Constitution Hall. Look at that great image. The Martin Beck Theater. And then you have an a a advertisement for cigarettes on the back. Chesterfield. There's a whole bunch for the National. They still put out playbills. I haven't been to Broadway in a long time, but I did keep all of mine. When I went to plays in high school, of course I kept them. We have Life Magazine, goes to the movies. There's Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep, Betty Davis, Jimmy Stewart. I personally loved James Dean. I was a huge fan of his. American Heritage, how we won the Vietnam War. If you've never been to the Vietnam Wall in DC, definitely go. 
it is a great memorial. I really do also love the Korean War Memorial. I think that that's very moving. And then American Heritage Gulf War, the 10 years later. Who's buried at Monticello? When Pop blew the art world open, the father of Uncle Scrooge. Hmm. I'll have to see. These are great. What years is from? 2001. This one's pretty old. Pretty old. I just did that about 18 years ago. Oh my goodness. Flipping the meat train. Hmm. One of the last veterans of a dangerous, violent, exhilarating way of life tells of youth spent on the road. I'm going to have to read this. So nice. Well, thank you, Susan, for the playbills and the magazines. I would definitely have to look in them more. I do, like I said, really enjoy even just looking at the ads. Speak French. Berlitz, that was a, a pretty well-known um, school of languages. So I can look at the ads all day. And I would if I didn't have to go to work. <laughs> so thank you, Dolores, Reese, and Susan for your packages. They are much appreciated. It's always nice to pass ephemera along and see what others have collected, others have found, and what others have been given over the years. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Again, another two for one, some garbage picking, some viewer mail. Thank you for watching. Thank you all of you that have sent items. And you know, thank you to those who have commented, who have liked, and who have subscribed. It is much appreciated. So I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.